Hello, I'm Michael L. Perry, and this is the CAP Theorem. The CAP Theorem was proposed by Eric Brewer in the year 2000. And since then, we've learned quite a bit about uh, distributed systems based on his work and others. So I'd like to go over the CAP Theorem with you real quickly. First of all, the uh, CAP in CAP Theorem stands for Consistency, Availability, and partition tolerance. And these are three attributes of the distributed system. That is a system made up of multiple machines, multiple nodes, all uh, communicating with one another over a network. And these are three promises. The consistency guarantee means that if I write to one node, then when I read from another node, it will return what I just wrote. Or, to be more precise, it'll return something no older than what I just wrote. Because somebody else might be writing to the system at the same time, and I might receive something newer, but I will never receive something older. That's consistency. Availability is the promise that when I talk to one node, it will respond. Unless, of course, that node has failed. Availability allows for failed nodes, but... If the node has not failed, it will respond. Partition tolerance means that when the network is partitioned, then whatever other promises I've made about the system, it will still keep those promises. A network is partitioned when messages can't flow from one machine to another. This might happen if you are, if you have two different data centers and the wide area connection between the two is severed. It might also happen if you consider your laptop to be part of the network, one of the nodes, but then you undock it. So the laptop is still on, it just can't communicate with the rest of the network. So whatever other promises our system makes, it's got to uphold those promises in that situation. So the CAP theorem says that we can only have at most two of these things. We cannot have all three. And the proof is actually pretty simple. Suppose I've got a trivial, trivial distributed system, just two nodes. If I were to write to one node and then read from another node, what would happen? Furthermore, let's suppose that the messages can't get from one node to the other. So, there are basically three things that could happen. One, the first node could return the best version that it has, which would be older than the one I just wrote. But if I'm doing that, then I'm not consistent. Or if we don't want to return an older version and we want to make sure that we get what the user just wrote, therefore being consistent, then we can wait. But if no messages are getting through, there's no way for that new version to get there. Whether the second node is trying to read from the first, or the first is trying to write to the second, either way, no matter what algorithm you choose, you can't get that new version on the second node if the messages aren't getting through. So in that case, I'm not available. Or what's the third thing that can happen? The third thing that can happen is, of course, the message actually does get through. So now I can be consistent, I can be available, but those two promises are dependent upon the network not being partitioned. So, so I'm not partition tolerant. And that is the basic proof of the CAP theorem. I have to choose one of these three things. Either I'm not going to be consistent all the time, I'm not going to be available all the time, or I'm not going to be partition tolerant all the time. 